Mini Moog has a really unique and beautiful sound quality, which has contributed to it being one of the most famous synthesizers of all time. And one of the main reasons for this is the filter section. The Moog filter is renowned for its richness and the beautiful quality it gives the synthesizers which possess it. The Mini Moog, of course, is not exempt from this. Let's have a listen using the sound we created with the oscillators. Let's have a listen to what the filter does. Now what the low pass filter is doing is carving, increasingly carving out the high frequencies present in the sound. But as it does this, it adds a certain richness and fatness to the frequencies present in the sound. This deep low end, this great bottom end, that's where it got the, uh, <laughs> the name fat. Let's add a little bit of filter emphasis, as it's called on the Minimo. We usually call that resonance now. And what that does is it boosts the cut, it boosts the frequencies present at the cutoff frequency. And the cutoff frequency is the point at which the frequencies are being removed from the sound. <laughs> As we're moving through the frequencies present in the sound and removing them, with the filter, the filter emphasis or resonance, we can hear that really beautiful Moog sound. That richness, the beauty of that sound is what gave the Mini Moog its fame. And of course, we can add a mount of contour, which is a filter envelope, which will control the filter cutoff point over time. Let's add some of that. Now you don't always need to have resonance on. You're more likely to get a fatter, deeper sound without resonance because you are your focus is on the rest of the frequencies that are present and not the frequency that's being boosted by the emphasis, being emphasized by the emphasis. Already, I bet some of you are going, hey, I recognize that sound. That sound's been used in so much music over time because it is so distinctive and beautiful. We have the ability also to employ keyboard control, which varies the filter cutoff frequency over time, meaning that the sounds near the bottom of the keyboard have darker, less high frequencies. The sounds near the top of the keyboard have more high frequencies, which sort of uh, simulates how acoustic instruments sound. We also have this setting so that if we push the filter emphasis into self oscillation where it starts to make a its own sine wave because the frequency being amplified comes into being heard. <laughs> that sort of irritating high pitch sound, that's the frequency we're talking about. Using these, we can tune that um, high pitch frequency to be controlled by the keyboard. So you can actually hear it, it's acting as if it is another uh, oscillator source, which is also a really cool function, which a lot of people, which a lot of synthesizers have, but of course the Mini Moog it sounds better when it's doing it. But that is the filter section. And you can see why it's so desirable. And the filter section on this particular Mini Moog is really delicious. 